Thank you for joining me again. So I'm finally getting around to working on my Bandai 148 scale moving edition X-Wing Starfighter. Sorry it's been a while since I said I was going to work on this, but I started doing an old kit. wanted to finish one up that I had never actually finished, and it got me in a little uh, finishing up mood, and I ended up doing about half a dozen old kits that have been assembled and not finished painted, and I got those all done. So anyway, I'm finally getting around to this guy and take a look here at the kit. So this first set of parts here, I've got uh, the bottom of the X-Wing, as you can see right here. Got the uh, standing pilot, which I will not be using. Some portions of the wings. Got a piece of the cockpit here. Some more area around the cockpit. And moving on, we got this bag with some three, two sets of pieces, sorry. Um, we have the back of the X-Wing, we have the cockpit, some legs, got some pieces of the uh, engine, the bottom of the cock, or the inside of the cockpit again. Um, this is the back plate where the, uh, on the top of the X-Wing, again, the back side of the X-Wing, the cockpit that I'll be detailing fully lit and here we have the glass inserts for the cockpit which I won't be using uh, the R2 unit some other miscellaneous parts parts of the gun here and the detail on these again Bandai is just fantastic. You know, nice, clean, sharp details on all these pieces. It's going to be very nice when it's fully built. Well, here we have some more engine pieces, parts of the gun, some pieces of the engine. I'm also thinking with the uh, gun of replacing those with styrene tubing and trying to make those light up and fire as well. And here's another sprue that has the wings for the X-Wing. As you can see here, nicely detailed, crisp and clean, and part of the engine here. And then also parts of the sides where the wings come out. So moving on here, we have the base of the X-Wing and the uh, internal motor and lighting that the kit itself comes with. So this is the base and the uh, stand which holds up the X-Wing and the stand just snaps into the base like so and there's a screw that goes into the bottom that holds it into position so that it won't fall like it keeps doing here and I would like to use some you know brass tubing again to hold up my X-Wing as opposed to using the base that it comes with because it's very big and bulky and I'm just not very keen on it However, the issue is here we have the motor which makes the wings open and close and I just don't know how I could attach the motor to a brass tube because it needs to attach to this stand and connect with these pins here which would make it difficult to use <coughs> for my uh, copper tubing. And you can see when you turn it on you've got the engine lights here. Um, you have a light up here for the cockpit, which is yellow, which is completely wrong. And you have the torpedo LED, which fires. And the engine lights also don't flicker. I want mine to flicker. And again, the cockpit light, I'm going to need at least three lights. I might use this one and replace it with a cooler white light. I'm not sure yet. But of course we have the wings that open with the uh, button here. And again the issue is, is I 
don't think I can make that work with copper tubing. So my choice would be to possibly leave it in the open position all the time and try to hook my copper tubing connect it to the bottom and just make all my LED lighting work through a custom base. And I'd have to figure out which of these pins controls power, which one controls the torpedoes and such so that I could make it work with my base. And they all just connect to the bottom portion of the motor right here. And you can see here the copper tubing is just not big enough for all those connectors unless I use a bigger piece of tubing which is a possibility I guess. And I also have some third-party photo etch for the cockpit here as well as some pieces to more detail the engines. So moving on here I'm going to cut out my pilot for the X-Wing which will be sitting inside the cockpit. So I primed the pilot with some primer and as I did with my Y-Wing I'm using flat red and flat yellow and flat white from Tamiya and mixing my own orange color to paint the pilot with. So I'm going to airbrush my orange and completely cover all of the pilot with my custom orange color. So I've got them all painted here as you can see. So I have a printout here I did of Luke's outfit that I'm going to use and try to make it as accurate as possible. So, you know, we got the little silver tips of and the gray portion around his boot, the straps, you know, the white vest and everything, the colored buttons on his chest plate. So I'm going to be using some gloss black, um, some flat black. I have my neutral gray. I have some sky gray, a medium gray, and some flat white, which will give me some different variances in the shades of gray. I'm going to start out by um, painting his boots and his gloves. And here we have the gloves and boots painted. And I've also moved on and painted most of the rest of the detailing. It's just too difficult to show in video. So at this point here, you can see that I've got him painted and I'm just giving him a coat of um, gloss so that I can do some washing over him. So here I'm trying to add some extra detail around his helmet. Um, he has these like little red circles and yellow circles with a little V over top of them so I'm trying to add that little bit of a detail. And here you can see him painted with all my detailing. So it's time to move on at this point to some decals and I have here the first one that goes on his helmet which is the red stripe. Using my Microsol solvent I'm going to apply some of that to the model itself and then get my decal wet so that I can peel it off and then apply it to the helmet where the Microsol has been applied probably should have had something holding the model so it doesn't move around so much. Here you can see the decal is applied. And then it's time to move on to the little rebel symbols that are going to go on either side. And again I should have been holding the model because the hip moving around is not making this very easy. And you can see I've got the rebel symbol applied to the left side of his helmet and then I've applied the right side as well. So moving on I'm going to use this Vallejo brown wash to do over his outfit. I don't want to use black. I don't want to make it too predominant. So I'm just going to apply some of this wash all over the uniform and just kind of fill in some of the little creases and all and just make it look a little weathered and dirty unlike with black where it would really pop and stand out. And 
Then I'm going to use some Tamiya pastels here. And I'm going to use mud and lightly just apply some over his helmet to just kind of dirty the helmet up a little bit as well. And I've now applied a flat coat over the entire pilot to tone him back down. And then I'm going to apply some gloss back to his boots and to his gloves to make them shiny again like the rubber they are. Then I'll be applying some sand Tamiya pastel to the bottom of his boots and around the gloves a little bit just to give them a little bit of a wear look as well like you know like they're not new and here you can see my pilot fully painted and I think I'm calling this finished the way he is right now I'm pretty happy with the way he turned out So thanks for watching and uh, moving on next I will be working on the cockpit and doing the LED lighting and photo etching and getting that all worked out.